In this video, we'll go over the ability to copy listings from one Etsy shop to another. If you look at the right sidebar, you can see which shops these listings currently appear in. If you see multiple icons, this indicates that this listing has already been copied to another shop. Listings with a single icon only exist in the shop you are currently viewing. You can copy listings both in bulk and individually. To copy an individual listing, hover over the listing you'd like to work with and click the copy icon. You will see all of the shops currently connected in Bella. To copy the listing over, simply select the other Etsy shop you would like it to appear in. To transfer over listings in bulk, select all the listings you'd like to copy. After everything is selected, click the copy icon up at the top and choose the Etsy store you would like to send these listings to. Let's head over to the Etsy store we just sent those listings to. Clicking this status bar will take us directly to the copy section of the other Etsy shop. You can also get to this view by clicking the copy tab from the main listing view. As you can see, our copied listings appear here. From this view, we're able to make any necessary edits before sending these products to the new shop. You will also see each listing now has a copy badge next to it. A green badge will appear when a listing is ready to publish. However, red badges, like the one seen here, indicate that the listings need to be edited before they can be published. It's important to note that the listings in this section will not sync with the second store until we publish them, either as a draft or as an active listing. These listings can be adjusted individually and in bulk. Let's start with this product right here. In order to publish this listing, it looks like we need to edit shipping. Clicking the field in red, we'll get to the section where we can make the changes needed. As you can see, this new listing is separate from the original listing. However, they are still linked to each other, so we can quickly make edits back and forth if wanted. Additionally, from this view, you can create another listing with this information, but we'll hold off on that for now. Clicking Publish down here in the bottom right, we can decide to save these changes in the Copy section, publish this product as a drafted to our new Etsy shop, or make it an active listing. Let's go ahead and save it into the draft section. Navigating back to the main view, let's select all of our listings. Let's select all of our listings. If we click this button right here at the top, we'll enter the familiar bulk editor where we can make any updates to fix the issues preventing us from publishing these listings. As seen here by the error indicator, it looks like shipping is the problem. Up here at the top, you can see we can filter our selected listings based on what errors they have. Since all of them have the same problem with shipping, let's go ahead and update the shipping profile assigned to all of them. With the required fields corrected, feel free to make any additional edits to optimize these listings for the new shop. For now though, we'll keep the rest of the details the same. Let's make sure to hit save. Returning to the main view, we can see all of our listings now have a green badge next to them, telling us they're ready to be published. Let's go ahead and select all of these listings once more and hit this button right here to publish or save them as a draft. Once these listings finish publishing, you will see them as active products in your Etsy shop. One final thing to note, you are also able to copy listings into the same Etsy store. This can be beneficial for creating templates for future listings. To do so, follow the same steps that we've just gone over, but this time select the Etsy shop you're currently in. Once again, from the copy view, you can make any adjustments needed. Since our listing has a green badge next to it, we'll go ahead and publish it to our shop, so we can have one version of this listing as a draft and one as an active product for sale. 
Once the status bar finishes, this copied listing will now be live in your Etsy shop.